We're gonna ask if Wolfsbane has crabs. <laughs> we're, we're safe to get with her. And not only am I gonna eat the cake that totally, you know, ruined the ongoing legacy cake, but I'm gonna also help myself to another plate of food. Frolicking friends and welcome back to my channel for another episode of the 100 baby gems we are going to be having our 10th and final baby of this generation which is super exciting and we're also going to meet the uh, future spouse for generation two so lots in store make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing if you aren't already i do post new videos every tuesday and friday including lots of berry content and not so berry content if you like this kind of stuff make sure you stick around to see more so Miss Florite here, baby number nine, is um, working on her potty because that is the only skill she has left to get up to level three before we can age her up. She has maxed her imagination skill. I didn't even realize that. She must have been playing dolls all night long. Go to the bathroom. That sounds like a good plan. I played just a tiny bit off camera, I think only one sim day, just to continue working on some skills to get kind of um, everyone geared up to age up um, here soon in the next episode or two. Um, I had Morganite join the gardening career to kind of help gear her up for her generation since she's going to be having a cute little farm in Henford-on-Bagley. I think you should be able to use that bathroom. So she has her first day of work. I never realized until just a little bit ago that brushing teeth actually helps, um, now where is it? <laughs> now it's not available, maybe you can do it over here. That brushing teeth helps raise their responsibility, which is awesome. I'm just gonna have them do a little bit of that just to help boost it up over. Morganite is off to work. I love her little gardener hat, it's so cute. Gemma is of course Prego, I believe she is. Oops, that's the new baby. She is going to be in her third trimester in 13 hours. I believe, if I'm correct, she'll have it Thursday night around 8 o'clock. And I also pushed a star here uh, pretty hard last night on her logic and charisma so that she should be able to get promoted up to level 9 of her career, which is awesome. We are definitely doing pretty good money-wise. Speaking of which, though, let's have Gemma get on her painting because I want, of course, to send Morganite with as much money as possible to go buy a farm. Nice. So Morganite just got a large performance gain um, from an opportunity pop-up. Oh, no. <laughs> it looked like a drink free time. Oh, Agate. Agate drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates. Caused lots of giggling and disrupted the rest of the school day. Oh, well, let's take the drawing and punish him. I feel like she would have probably encouraged creativity, but I didn't want his. I think that affected the responsibility, which I did not want. Okay, sell that one. Nice, we're up to 30k. Ooh, wow, we just finished a masterpiece worth 2,000. That's awesome. This world is actually looking really nice now that we've kind of improved it up a little bit. Nice, Morganite is home from her first day of work. No promotion as of yet, but that's probably just because... Oh, she's gardener level 3? How is that possible? I just had her join the career. Okay, I'm really confused if it just had her start further up because she, I don't know, did well in school. Is that a thing? I don't know because she didn't go to college or anything. All right, grades are up. Oh, <laughs> Turk is like slipping and sliding out there. So let's check on Turk's grades. He is an A student, which means he should be able to age on up. He's in a terrible mood though. Oh, everyone's scared because of the thunder. Alrighty, Star was promoted to a um, municipal engineer. Nice. That's so awesome. Almost at the top of her career. And then we are going to go ahead and pull out our birthday cake. We're going to go ahead and start a club gathering because that's the fastest way to get all the siblings over. I wonder if I can get her to go potty. And Turk, my boy, I want you to come here. 
And let's age you up to a young adult. I can't believe it's happening already. Oh, actually, this is the one time I don't need to worry about skin details. <gasps> Happy birthday, buddy boy! What? The family actually, like, gathering around to celebrate someone's birthday? Happy birthday, Turk! Mr. Big Britches. Alright, Turk's final trait is neat. And he is responsible. Awesome. Go ahead and add birthday candles. You're looking great, Turk. Wow, I can't believe he's a young adult. It's like <laughs> the weirdest thing. Let's have him join the culinary career. I don't know if I'm in a huge rush to move him out just because um, we have enough space for baby number 10 and <laughs> we don't have to have any more babies for a little while. So um, yeah, I'll just kind of leave him around to help out and make some money and I'll probably give him a makeover later either when I age up fluorite or off camera or something. All right let's get some homework done. Of course Tina wants to come on in. She's like I heard you had a birthday party. How come you didn't invite me? I mean um here's something an upgrade part for you and she's giving it to Star. That's probably the right move there. Yeah, a plumbing upgrade part. Ah, uh, thank you, I guess. Did you do your homework already, buddy? Oh, nice. What are your skills? What skill do we need to get up? Yeah, mental's good. You can definitely do that. She's good there. Oh, she's an A student. Is he a B student? Interesting. But, and he also, I think, needs to finish out the first level of his aspiration. So he also needs to draw two pictures while inspired, which is going to be tricky because <laughs> obviously he's not inspired. I wonder if I can have Gemma spot him inspired potion. Drink up, Agate. Awesome. Now go ahead and get that painting painted. Yeah, so Rose Quartz I think is ready to age up, but Agate is not, but hopefully we can fix that. Um, two birds with one stone, he needs to get a level four skill, so I'll actually have him work on creativity and hopefully draw two pictures while inspired. Now, I don't know if this one will count because it was already started, but we'll find out. Oh, gem. That's a nice one. I don't know where we'll put that, but I feel like we should save that. And Agate finished his painting, so let's go ahead and draw a vehicle. Oh, and he reached level four of mental, actually, yeah, there it goes. But he's super close to creativity as well. And that did count as one, so we just need to get the other one and then I think after he goes to school tomorrow, he'll be ready to age up as well, which is exciting. Nice. So he reached creativity level four. Oops, don't ask for potty help, but you can go potty. Wow, it's like Gemma's painting <laughs> all new paintings. She's been painting the same like three forever. And she's been level 10 painting for the longest time, so it's not like a level up thing. <laughs> I guess I should have had him go to the bathroom. You can do it. Finish your painting of that train. Oh, little fluorite. So cute. You probably didn't level up your potty. No, but you are close. And you got level four law thinking, aka logic for babies. Please focus. You're almost out of your thing. Oh, are we going to lose it? I think we might lose it. It's so close though. Please give it to me. Please give it to me. <sighs> nope. I don't think we'll get credit for it. <laughs> yeah, but that didn't count. Darn. Okay, well, we'll try again. <laughs> you know you live in a tiny home a lot when every other second yeah, someone's leveling up some skill. And for anyone who maybe doesn't remember or is new to this series, this is a hacked tiny home. 
So most of the rooms don't count as rooms because I did the little trick where you delete part of the wall and the floor and then you put it back in. All right, well, things should be pretty same old, same old here for a little bit. I'll catch back up with you after the kids get back from school tomorrow. We'll try to get Agate's uh, last little bit of his aspiration finished and, oh, unwelcome present. Nothing does responsibility. So, yeah, um, I'm not gonna just make you suffer through <laughs> the the morning chaos, but I'll catch back up with you after these guys get back from school tomorrow. All right, so slight change of plans. I forgot that as a gardener, Morganite can work from home. So I went ahead and gave her, or had her work from home. All she needs to do is research a plant for her task, which is awesome. So I'm actually gonna send her out to Henford on Bagley, maybe as like part of a, in theory, work assignment, cause you know, they're known for their crops and stuff, but um, she's gonna go visit her sister. And you know, we're gonna catch back up with Alexander Andrite. Okay, the kiddos. Wow, there's only two school kids. That's so crazy. Are off to school. I'm having Morganite eat a quick little breakfast and then we'll have her head out to visit Alexandrite. Ah, there she is greeting us outside. Um, let's have a deep personal conversation like, where have you been, sis? I've missed you. It's so good to see you. Have a feeling it must be so hard to, um, you know, be separated from her twin that she's grown up with. I have half a mind to <laughs> kick, uh, kick Turk out and have Alexandra move back in, but I don't think that's appropriate. So we'll have these two catch up a little bit. Oh, <laughs> that's a funny uh, secret handshake. Have you met the locals in Henford on Bagley? It's a really close-knit community. Oh, I can't wait for her to move here and start her generation. So I wonder if Alexandrite's roommate is home. So we'll go, plus we just need to go check out her cute little house here. Um, it's so adorable. I love this world so much. I can't wait to move here. I don't really like the, I can't remember, Evergreen Harbor. I feel like it just wasn't really my favorite but this one oh she is here so let's be a nice person and come give a polite introduction to Alexandrite's roommate such a cutie let's have a nice conversation oh wow we're hugging her we, we like don't even really know her but we're hugging her anyway. So this is Wolfsbane Century. She was made for me by Cinny from Cinny's Berry Farm. I think that's the correct name uh, on Tumblr. I'll link their uh, Tumblr down below if you're interested in checking them out. Yeah, so this, spoiler alert, is going to be our next generation spouse. So our next color, I have don't have like a color scheme figured out for this, but um, I'm going color by color. I wanted to do kind of an amethyst kind of color. So uh, we're doing this nice pretty purple and that means that Wolf Spain is our next generation spouse. And I'm so excited. Um, so Cinny did prepare a beautiful little backstory for her, which I'm sure we'll get to know as we get to know her better or better, more like uh, Alexandra gets to know her better. Um, let's go ahead and offer our gratitude to Wolfsbane. Like, hey, thanks for letting me come hang out today. It's good to see my sis, even though I'm kind of almost ignoring my sis at this point and chatting it up with you. Let's enthuse about gardening, ask about day. Yeah, I keep hearing about these locals. I'm excited to meet them. Oh, she doesn't like us. That's not a good sign. Now, I've seen some people get like a first impressions kind of thing. Is that a mod? Because it pops up here, I think, but I don't remember seeing that. It must be a mod. If you guys know which one it is, you should let me know because I would love to see that kind of thing for my Sims. Yeah. Oh, Wolfsbane is so cute. I can't wait for them to get to know each other better. Although they're already like really hitting that... Uh, friendship hard oh we should ask her if she's single like morganite definitely is like attracted to her she 
think she's really cute. She's going to ask if she's single. And then she definitely is going to check with Alexandra to, like, make sure that there's nothing going on there. I didn't end up asking if she was single. It canceled. We're going to kind of come over here, pull Alexandra to the side, <laughs> ask if... <laughs> Ah, sorry. We're gonna ask if Wolf's Spade has crabs. <laughs> we're, we're safe to get with her. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, let's share a secret. Like, hey, I'm kind of crushing on your roommate. Is she available? Um, what do you think? Should I go for it? I wish that was really an option. Because I would be curious to see what Alexandra would say. Hmm. So I feel like she got Alexandrite's blessing. So she's going to come back over here to Wolfsbane and, and to just lay on a little bit of flirtation, you know, like kind of get a sense of where she hits and then, you know, go from there. Probably ask her out on another time. Oh, she seems into it. Let's ask if she's single. Okay, and exchange numbers so they can meet up later because... She seems like she was into our flirt, so that's a great sign. What do you say we uh, have coffee sometime, Wolf Spain? Oh, that was like an eye roll. Oh, but she kissed her phone. Okay. Okay. We'll take it. Oh, wow. We're already good friends. Like, what the heck? She's charisma level four. I don't know if that has something to do with it. <laughs> that was a fast connection. Definitely almost the love at first sight sort of thing, seeing how they're already good friends and they just met. We'll come chat it up a little bit more with Alexandra before we head back to uh, Evergreen Harbor, because of course everyone's going to be coming home from school soon. Actually, I do want her to do one thing before we leave Henford on Bagley. Actually, we live in town, so we should be able to just run over here, right? Come meet Mrs. Crumplebottom. <laughs> here we come. Alrighty. What you have here? Okay, let's buy some beige llama wool. Green llama wool. Buy a cross stitch hoop. Alright, so we bought a few things there. I want her to start maybe doing some cross stitching or maybe knitting. I'm not 100% sure. But I figure we could use the llama wool. Well, let's head home. So Morganite had a nice little trip, met someone cute, and now it's, you know, back to big family life. But let's see if we can't have her come do... Oh, cool, because we're not on the simple living, we can do whatever we want. Let's do a cute little rainbow. Oh yeah, I forgot that <laughs> Turk doesn't go to school. All right, so she's doing some cross stitching. That's so cute. Oh, careful there, girl. All right, Star's home from work and is starving. Turk is headed off to work. <laughs> Turk is off to work, it rhymes. <laughs> All right, I'll see myself out. And the kiddos are home, so does he have an A? He does, but of course he hasn't reached that part of his aspiration yet. I think I'm gonna try to have him do a quick little power nap. And then we'll buy him another potion. With the lot trade, it's like they're always playful. It's really hard for them to be in other moods most of the time. So it's definitely the most straightforward way to get things done. I don't know if you guys have done much playing or research yourself, but um, I'd be curious to know whether knitting or cross-stitching is more profitable of a hobby. Just because after she becomes the air officially and takes over morganite won't be able to work and so i'd like for her to have a money making hobby just like gemma has her painting and i know painting is like one of the best but gotta mix it up nice cross stitching level two she might have bloody fingers but at least she has a cute little cross stitch thing going on <laughs> her finger still hurts from the last attempt oh that's funny so she needs to uh, heal a little bit. Well, you know, let's buy the knitting stuff and have her kind of tackle both skills. Okay, so we'll buy that and let's knit. Oh, she can knit animal clothing and she can knit beanies. Let's do a cute little beanie. <laughs> She'll be such a good little mama uh, stay-at-home seamstress. 
course, <laughs> I kind of feel bad because, like, none of her traits have anything to do with that, but that's okay. All right, that was a great power nap, kid. I wonder if you can buy your own. Probably not. Oh, you might actually. You have just enough for a inspired potion. So we'll have Agate start his painting, and then I'm going to have him stop and drink his potion so that he's inspired, and then he can finish it. Okay, so it does look like they've updated it so that... Uh, the wool can be used for knitting too, which is super cool. Did you do it, kid? Did you do it? Yes! Okay! I think, and he's an A student, that means we are ready for some birthdays. So we'll have Rose Quartz go first. Um, since she is, uh, she was ready way ahead of time. Alright, Miss Rose Quartz. Happy birthday! Alrighty! So, she is proper, and she is an art lover, so let's give her the... I kind of want to give her the best-selling author. I know that's a little bit different, but I feel like that would be cute for her. Yay! Okay, go ahead and add some birthday candles. So, <laughs> just immediately takes a selfie. Uh, go ahead and add birthday candles so your brother can age up. That is quite the statement outfit you have going on there, Rose. All right, kid. Happy birthday, Mr. Agate. All right, so Agate is a green fiend and a kleptomaniac. I love that they're like both hands. That's very interesting. All right, so um, I don't know what his aspiration should be. Not that it matters too much. Maybe he's a party animal. I don't know. Yay, Agate! Alrighty, so I think my plan is... Oops, before I do anything, let's go ahead and add some birthday candles. Actually, is she cool? Are we cool? Oh, we are so close. Okay. <laughs> let's get this girl up. Let's get her on a potty and... See if we can't have a triple birthday. You can do it. I have all the faith in you, Miss Florite. Oh, and <laughs> Gemma's just got into labor. Oh, chaos. We love some chaos. Stars freaking out. All right, Gemma Gems, let's go have a baby. Yay! Baby number 10, you guys. Oh, I should get a picture of this. This is like, I don't know. I have another screen, or not screenshot, another thumbnail in mind, but this might have to be the, this might have to be the one. It's an ending of an era. Don't worry, Gemma, this is the last time. You can do it, Gemma. All right, we're ending off this generation with a baby boy. All right, so after a lot of thought, and I'm like, racking my brain did I accidentally not accidentally but did I name another kid this I don't think I have we're gonna go ahead and name our 10th and final baby for this generation Topaz um, and I'm going with this this was actually suggested by a few different people but I'm gonna give credit to Simber Sanders um, I felt like that was like a nice book end to the end of this generation because of course she was the creator for Star who is our you know spouse this generation so I think I used every single one of Amber's name suggestions. She had some great ones. So baby number 10 is here and it is Topaz. Mr. Topaz. Let's do a nice super efficient baby care because he... Oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. As I say, a super efficient baby care. Gemma pulls out her precious uh, bag of trash. Okay, pick up the real baby, please. <laughs> I love it. It's like dolphin in the air. Dolphin flip. All right. That is baby number 10. Okay. Please tell me during all of that, you managed to get your potty skill up, baby girl. Baby girl, fluorite. Let's get you aged up. Oh, I guess you need help blowing out the candles. 
Oops, don't blow out the candles, Gemma. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing for you to have your birthday. Oh, and we have a sink broken in the background. Okay, let's go ahead and help Florite blow out the candles. And if you could please repair this star, that would be awesome. Okay, so we had four birthdays this episode, plus a birth of baby number 10. I would say this is a... Uh, Probably the most successful episode we've ever had. Maybe. I don't know. Just fixing the sink in true 100 baby chaos fashion. <laughs> All right. Floor right. Floor, floor. Your turn. Happy birthday. You are evil. Rose, you will get a kick out of that. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... If you guys don't get that reference, which you probably don't, uh, my good friend Rose, who has a YouTube, I'll link her down below. You should definitely go check it out. She has an amazing Not So Berry Challenge. It inspired my own, um, if you were curious, because you totally asked. But anyway, her sim's name is Floor, and she's just a chaos goblin, as Rose likes to refer to her as. And so she said, careful naming your baby Florite, because, you know, she might become possessed, and here we go. First trait out of the gate is evil. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and of course, I didn't take any pictures of her skin details beforehand. So, I think we're going to go ahead and end this. Oh, don't, what, you know? Oh, that's not the last. I was just thinking that was the last uh, birthday. Oh, I think, I think it'll be too late. We'll see. Nope. Okay, that's okay. You evil, evil child, you enjoy your slice of cake, I guess. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Look at Star looking at her, all loving, like a, like a good mama. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. I can't... <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I can't even end this episode. This girl's like, I am going to eat my cake and have a slice of bread or whatever cobbler she has in the other hand. Like, not only am I going to eat the cake that totally, you know, ruined the ongoing legacy cake, but I'm going to also help myself to another plate of food. <laughs> Floor, I can already tell you are going to give me so much trouble. Oh, I can't wait. All right, with the game pause so that I can actually end this episode officially, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series and are looking forward to the second generation. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and helps the channel. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? But until next time, happy simming!